As a keynote speaker, I've had the pleasure of working with many world-class individuals and organizations. Although they were from diverse backgrounds and businesses, they all had something in common, a winning mindset. The word mindset is defined as a mental attitude that predetermines a person's response and interpretation of situations. Another way of saying that winning is more about how we choose to think versus the circumstances that we face. Here are four characteristics that can help you develop and maintain a winning mindset. Play to learn. How do you maintain a winning mindset when you lose? Champions have the mindset that if you do lose, see it as a win because you've learned something valuable from the experience. This allows us to interpret an experience that can be seen as discouraging into one that fuels determination. Now take a look at times in your life when you failed. Would you take that experience back in exchange for the lessons that you learned? Likely, the future success you had, in part, can be attributed to the wisdom you gained from your previous setback. You win every time you play to learn. Risk equals opportunity. An integral part of a winning mindset is seeing opportunity and risk as partners. In other words, you can't have one without the other. I always wondered how some people found the courage to continually take risks. It's because they understand that being risk adverse also means being opportunity adverse. Once I understood this, it became much easier to try something new and step out of where I was comfortable. Here's why. I realized that risk can produce butterflies. But passing up a great opportunity will make you sick. It's all about how we choose to see risk and opportunity. Winning happens in practice. The will to win begins with preparing to win. Now on the tennis court, it's vitally important that you practice like you compete. So you can compete like you practice. Peak performers are always looking for ways to better their best. They understand that practice is the difference between mediocre and magnificent. They continually improve because they practice when they feel motivated and they practice when they don't feel motivated. The great Roger Federer says, you don't stop practicing when you are a champion because practice is why you are a champion. They quit. That's right, people with a winning mindset make a habit of quitting. Now I realize this seems a bit counterintuitive from what we believe about success. Winners quit any attitude or action that is not moving them closer to their goals. They say do to what is contributing to their success and no to what is delaying their success. Tim Ferriss, the author of the book, Tools for Titans, calls this creating your not-to-do list. We're all busy. Therefore, it's important that we separate what we could do from what we should do. This can only be accomplished when you have absolute clarity on your goals. Once you establish exactly where you want to go, there becomes a clear divide between what you can do and what you must do. When an individual wins, we tend to look first at the external skills. However, the difference maker is what you can't see, the inner character. You win from the inside out. These inner qualities are something that we can all develop, we can nurture and benefit from. Think about it. You're the only one who decides how you respond and interpret your situation. Only you determine the quality and the content of your thoughts. You have everything you need right now to embrace a winning mindset. So game on. Awesome.